What is up to the YouTube? It's Furry Auto Vlogs. We give you guys a quick little update on the 2000 Honda Civic and my fur project. Well, guys, um, I finally finished the furry project, as you guys know. Um, I already finished my fur head. It's pretty much Raven Husky 3.0 2021. Um, that's the year that I'm going to be going to my very first uh, furry convention. So I think that will be a pretty good video. I'm planning on buying myself a GoPro and just strapping the GoPro to the head middle part of the years and uh yes i did finally get a haircut as you guys can see right now i just have my long ass hair and the uh and the hat right now so what the plan is um i might be having another another project in mind right now at this very moment but i was since i told you guys before that what i that i was looking for a uh older style late 90s uh tahoe like a 99 like a 95 through 99 one of one of one of them I am a GMT 400 fan and also a uh, import fan and a, and a uh, Honda Motors fan as well. Um, I always been fans of these companies ever since I had like mo multiple Hondas pretty much. And this is actually like my my third Honda Civic. Actually, you know what? I had a 2000 Honda Accord that I had years ago, and for some reason I don't know what the hell happened. Um, the car ended up my friend ended up, ended up taking it which I, uh, crap, I'm the wrong section of the road, damn it, which I bought the car for 300 bucks, that was a 2000 Honda Accord that I had, bought it for uh, 300 bucks, and I sold it to him for 400, so that's good, and that car had the 3.0 liter V6 in it, so, and this one here has the uh, 1.6 liter, so, uh, other than that, runs and drives, I actually got this car for 400 bucks too, so, and I put a new transmission in it, which is I got it as a free transmission. And pretty much, I didn't have to replace the training in this car. I just put new uh, new CV axles in it, new lower ball joints. And my plan is to basically redo the whole brake system in this car, like redo rotors, like front rotors, front brake pads, and everything. Yeah, that's basically what the plan is to do: rotors, brake pads, everything on this car. To where this thing looks like brand new again and I'm, my, my plan is to paint it the same color as it is as it sits right now my plan is to paint it that color the same color um but what i am looking for right now is a gnt 400 late 90s uh tahoe so that's gonna be the next uh, project that i work on i was looking at one on facebook marketplace i'm actually trying to find this tahoe right here um it's actually a 2005 i don't know if it's a 2005 or 2003 i'm not 100 percent sure but that truck is actually a 97 chevy tahoe which the lady wants 750 bucks for it which i'm like huh okay i can jump on that but i'm not willing to pay uh 750 bucks for it so besides the truck needs a fucking paint job it needs a paint job and it needs a damn ignition uh ignition lock cylinder and it also needs a fuse box which i'm trying to get this the lady's gonna send me some pictures uh, later on on what what it needs on the engine bay but if it's a dash fuse box i can go get the one from my friend which he still has my other tahoe if you guys are curious about the other tahoe that i that i used to have which was a 99 uh, tahoe that I bought it for 390 bucks and I sold that thing for 600 which sucks ass for me because I had a clean Tahoe and um yeah it kind of sucks and it's and it's kind of it's kind of sad at the same time because I bought a clean ass Tahoe and I just basically got rid of it for 600 bucks which at the end of the day I made profit on it but this car I'm planning on keeping it until I nice uh, single cab Woo, sexy truck so I said my plan is to keep this car for quite a while until I get my uh, Tahoe. Um, the plans for that thing is to LS swap it. That's basically what the car's coming. My plan for this thing is to uh, LS uh, swap it. Either a L83 swap or a 5.3 swap or either a 4.8 swap. But if I can find me a... 2000 or 2002 Chevy Tahoe, uh, just the whole uh, fucking potholes, man. Anyways, so I'm planning to find me a whole entire donor vehicle instead of me having to go to the junkyard hunting for parts and shit. I prefer just to um, go 
get an entire uh, donor vehicle, which there's one here, these neighbors, which that thing has not moved in, or well, I think over a year now, and that thing is sitting on some flat tires. So, I mean, I doubt they'll sell it, but I mean, I mean we can try it to see what it's that truck's been sitting there for quite a while. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm not going to show it to you guys, but um, yeah, that truck's been sitting there for quite a while. So I think what I'm going to do is go knock on the neighbor's yard, which I'm not going to because I don't have time. To, I don't, I don't want to get shot. So I mean, I'll come back later and see what, what, uh, what bucket they can do for me. So my plan is to buy me a whole entire donor vehicle and just uh, pull the the engine and oh shit take out my plan is to take out the entire trans um, take out the entire motor and trans with dash harness and body control module and just use and just build me an LS like that and just slap the motor in the truck but I do know my plan is to buy me the the motor mounts from eBay eBay motor mounts not the slider ones the ones that have like the uh, actual clamshell attached to the, the the plate so that's basically what the plan is Basically, damn it. That's basically what the plan is, is to, um, hang on, that's a really nice Honda over here, guys. Hang on a second, I gotta stop and take a look at this. Hang on, guys, it's like a Honda Accord just sitting there. I don't know if it has SI wheels, though. Um, I really don't want to get off in these people's yards, so. Anyways, guys, um, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and, uh, stay tuned for another update on the uh, next project that I got planned and a few other things coming the way so thank you guys for watching